All right, well, welcome to Breath of Fire 2 with really weird text. Uh, I've been wanting to play this game pretty much since I played the last one. Pretty much since I bought Dragon Quarter, which I'm eventually working my way to. Um, so, I'm going to let these little intro scenes play for a little while because I don't think I've ever watched them. Um, they're a little bit of a spoiler because they tell you the important characters in the show, but they also kind of tell you what people were doing before you meet them in the game, which is kind of neat. Uh, important characters in the show. God. <laughs> um, oh, I thought they just played one after the other. Uh, this could take a little bit longer than I thought. Um, I might just have to skip through these little interlude Breath of Fire 2 segments. So I do want to show them all. Also, what the hell is up with that font? Like, those T's do not look like T's. They look like J's. What the hell is with this font? <laughs> Game, you're on drugs. Um, but yeah, Breath of Fire 2... Or Breath of Fire 1 was a very, like, classic RPG... Breath of Fire 2 is a lot more complex. It's a lot bigger, it's a lot grander. You can tell just from the music that it they wanted to make it more grand. Um, and I would say it's all around a better game. Um, it's definitely a more difficult game. That's for damn sure. Oh, you actually get to see her fight Baba. That's neat. Um, but these, like I said, I don't think I've ever actually watched these little character intro bios, which again are kind of spoilers. I'll, I think I'm probably going to include a uh, timestamp in the description if you want to go directly to video, or directly to game start, but I just want to watch these. And I'm probably going to cut out these little interstitial sections that I'm talking over, which means I can't cut them out. <laughs> Alright, so we've seen Bo, we've seen Cat, and this is Rand. Who's getting beaten up by his mom. That sounds about right. <laughs> he fights a stump. <laughs> Fucking ran. <laughs> uh, he's a neat one. And now we get to Nina. Alright. She's attending magic school. But doesn't know very little ma- doesn't know very much magic. I- I mean that is why you go to school. So you can learn more. And now she's fighting brigands. I don't know, it looks like you know some pretty good magic already, girl. Also, I'm pretty sure you're gonna lose this battle. <laughs> or not. Okay. Ah, uh, and Sten. The Amateur Magician. Oh, Tulin! Tulin's great. I'm glad it makes a reappearance in this one. This game has a lot of nods back to the first game, which are really, really nice. Like, nothing you actually have to play the first game to understand, but just a lot of, like, little references to it. I also kind of like that they let you see what each person kind of works like in battle. Oh, that's right. His uh, ability is play dead. God, he's so weird. Also, I'm pretty sure he just lost that battle, because those two will hit him and he'll die. <laughs> Alright, I'm- oh, I forgot about Gene. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure this is the last one, but there should be one more after this, actually. Why do you run away from my love? Jane. 
the woman loving frog man. He's so round. And his method of defense is to just stick his butt out at people. Yeah, it sounds about right for Jean, frankly. And he got his ass kicked. <laughs> also sounds about right for Jean. And... Spur? I don't... Remember that being his name. Alright, sure. I don't remember what his name was, but I don't remember it being Spur. But you know what? Sure. Why not? <laughs> that was neat. <laughs> Anyway, I'm pretty sure that was the last one. Um, there is technically one more character you can get here, but it's not going to show you anything for them, I don't believe. Aaliyah? Who the hell is Aaliyah? Anyway. So, you might have noticed that several character names are reused between these games. Um... The main character across all of the Breath of Fire games is always named Ryu, and there is always a Nina in all of the games. Um, in some fashion. Uh, Bo is also a Ryu's name in this one, but... Eh, he, he is not reused in the other games, I don't think. Ah, yes. Very dark intro. No, don't worry, the game is not frozen. <laughs> it's just very dark. <laughs> this game is a lot more dark than the first one. It deals with some very heavy themes. I don't have enough strength. Give yourself to God. Pray to God. Praise God. You must become God's strength. Alright. <laughs> and now we're in black and white town. Wait, wait, you uh... You uh, it's nap time! Oh, she got away. Hey, Ryu! Ryu, come here! Ryu, come here for a minute. Well, first thing to do in every Breath of Fire game, go and steal shit from, uh, dressers. Yua disappeared again. I don't think she likes naps. Go find Yua. Okay. Good, I'm counting on you. I didn't actually mean to hit okay there. I was just going through the text. Uh... Old game, have to be careful about that. Also, you know that this game's been updated since the previous... You, you know this game is bigger and better than the previous one, because this one has bathrooms in the houses. They're not just big empty rooms with bedrooms. They're actually sectioned off houses with, like, bathrooms and dedicated bedrooms and stuff now. Design has gotten a lot better. You're not lonely without your mom. But you can't cry forever. Alright, so here, here's an important thing to know. That little crystal on the top right is like called the Dragon's Tear or something like that. Um, and it shows people's heart, basically. Um, several years ago when I monsters appeared, a huge dragon appeared and saved the people. That dragon is still sleeping on the back mountains. Neat. And there's the Dragon Lord statue. Alright, cool. I think Gainer is a priest for the Dragon Lord, I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, but yeah. So, the lighter their little crystal thing, the, like, more pure or, like, happier their heart is. Um, if it's, like, it ranges from deep, deep purple to, like, I believe really light blue. And then from really light blue, it can get to all the way up to, uh, like, rainbow flashing. And at that point, it's like their heart is completely filled with happiness and love or all that good stuff. Um, whereas if it's deep, deep purple, then their heart is pretty much completely just gone to hatred and death. Uh, <laughs> so, it, it's an important little note. It lets you keep a better idea of where people's intent is, I suppose, is the best way to say it. Um, like this guy kind of cares about me. Apparently my father, as well as being a priest, is also a excellent magician. So I am the son of a priest. Alright, cool. Is there anything to steal? <laughs> no? Okay. Gotta go get my little sister. Because she doesn't like to take naps. Oh, This is nice music. And suddenly, things are no longer black and white. Oh jeez. Monster time. So if you watched the first playthrough of Breath of Fire, these guys make a return. Uh, beaks. I'm gonna whack you with my little fist and get punched. Alright. I don't think it's possible to win this fight. Like, I do not believe it is technically possible to win without Gainer coming in and giving you assistance. You fought to protect you. You're brave. Bad girl, you. Why'd you come to a place like this? Because I wanted to see Mom. Your mother? Well, that's right. If I take a nap here, Mom comes into my dreams. Your mom, huh? But you, uh... I know, Mom's dead. Long ago, when the monster attacked the village, I could not protect your mother. If this dragon had not come to help us, I would not have been able to protect the rest of you. I'm sorry, Ryu. If only I had more strength, things would have been different, right? Oh, this is giving me the choice. So I can tell him he's right, and that if he had more strength, things would be different, so I could say not true, which I think is more along the lines of, no, you did the best you could. So I'm gonna go with that. Daddy, it was not your fault. Everyone in the village says so. They say that you and the dragon saved the village from the monsters. I just hope your mom feels the same way. She does feel the same, the dragon told me. It's almost as if you can talk to the dragon. Mom comes into my dreams. All right, my psychotic little child. You should also go home before it gets dark. Might have a dream about mom too. Would you like to close your eyes? So here it gives me an option of taking a nap under the dragon. See if I can see my mom or I can head back home. I'm gonna take a nap. I don't think that's my mom. That was frightening. And the music stopped. Alright. So, fun fact. Whether you head back or you uh, close your eyes makes no difference. Same thing happens. Uh, closing your eyes just gets you that little cutscene. 
but now the village is in color. And everyone's hearts have gotten worse, and now they don't remember me anymore. Father Gaynor? What are you talking about? The preacher of this village has always been Father Hulk. You're saying the son of the preacher? You're a liar. Saint Eva will punish you. So, this village never prayed to Saint Eva. They always prayed to the dragon god. Who's this child? Strange kid gives me the creeps. Seen you around here before. Where are you from, boy? So no one remembers me anymore. You an orphan? If you have nowhere to go, go to the church. Saint Eva won't turn you away. Um... This was my house. Who are you? Where is my dad? Welcome to the house of Saint Eva. You have nothing to fear. The church will never turn away a poor child like you. Even if you were a thief. I think this is your own home and rest. Where's my little sister? And my dad? Oh, and it's Tiny Bo. What a cheap place. I guess I'll take the candles. Hi. You don't have to say anything. Oh, look at his heart. He is so good. You're just like me, right? Even though he's a thief. <laughs> you act like a poor child, get into the church, stealing valuables, right? But this place is worthless. We have to go to a bigger village. I'm going to another village. You're going to stay here? I mean, no one remembers me here. And no one likes me here. And my dad and my sister are no longer here, apparently. So, no. Let's go to a big village somewhere, steal and get rich. My name's Bo. Nice to meet you, buddy. Alright, we got our first party member. Okay. Except he doesn't actually join my party, it looks like. Well. That's neat. What happens if I talk to Father Hulk? Dear God. Oh, he's just asleep. Alright. Well. That was a thing. This episode might run a little bit long, but I want to get through all the intro portion first. Huh? Oh no. Looks like rain. Here comes the rain, it's pouring. Can we find a place to get out of the rain? Huh, I was just curious if there was actually enemy spawns here. It doesn't look like it. I'll explain what I was doing here in a sec. Uh, it's pitch black. Oh, I got the candle, I can use the candle. We're set, let's go. All right, so if you go to your pause screen and you see the little like goblin dude in the middle on, along the top there who's currently snoring away um, if he's dancing about the more he's dancing about the more active he is the more active the monsters are um, so if he's asleep that means there's no monsters there's no random encounters uh, which you're mostly going to see in like towns and whatnot but if he's like dancing away super hard then your encounter rate is super freaking high so, this game actually gives you an indication of what your encounter rate is like, which is pretty neat. Uh, that doesn't look good. What was that? Let's follow it. That sounds like a terrible decision, Bo. That sounds like a terrible decision, Bo. Hey, hey, where are you going? It's pouring outside. Uh, I don't want to follow the giant tail. This does not seem like a smart... No, no, that's not the way. Oh my god, are you an idiot? Why would you want to follow this thing? Uh, if I die here, I blame you. Uh, 
I'm not a fan of this. Yeah, what were you expecting, dude? Oh, it's a monster. What were you expecting, dude? Are you saying you're the one? You say that you're the child for the mission? Alright then. Prove it to me. Jesus. Alright. Baruberry. Um. Well. Well. That went about as well as expected. Go ahead, Ryu. Let me see who opened the gate. Destined child. And that is no when you will know the true strength of God. Alright. It was like waking from a long dream. But now his father and sister have disappeared. And no one else recognizes him. Again, this font is... Really weird, and honestly kind of hard to read. He dreamt of a horrific demon who ripped his heart and body apart, but it remains just a dream. Yeah, Ryu who dreams of demons. Yet the vision remains strong, deep within the corners of his mind. He hears it calling. A different world. A world of silence. A world of darkness. He moves toward it, feeling both fear and exhilaration. He succumbs, and the darkness welcomes him. Alright, dude, we get it. You're a teenager. <laughs> you are the one, the demon screeches. Reaching deep within his own heart, he realizes that it is true. Then, in that moment, reality washes away, the dream begins to take shape. This game is really weird. By the way, if you haven't noticed yet, it has a very it has very strong theming. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It knows what it's going for, and it pushes on it hard. <laughs> also, this is the this is the particular logo that I really like for this show. This is probably what I'm or for this show for this game. This is probably what I'm going to use as the thumbnail, rather than the other logo. I like this one a lot more. All right, well, it title drops, so that was Breath of Fire 2. Uh, thanks for joining. Oh, looks like there's more game. Okay. Ten years later. Again, we get it, Ryu. You're a teenager now. Helder, please give us work. We're full-fledged adventurers now. Ah, uh, sure you are. Let's see. What? Find a pet? You don't want to do it? Of course I don't want to do it. A silly job like this. Besides, you got to be pretty stupid to lose a pet. Or, you know, a child. These are the men that will find my pet. Oh, Mina. Well, they don't seem to want the job. Wait, 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 wait. Nobody said we wouldn't do it. Mina, you can leave it to me to find your pet. Oh, thank you, doggy man. <laughs> Elder, leave it to us. Everything will be fine. Well, I'll leave it to you then. Please find my Susie. I'll be seeing you later. Please, Elder, leave it to us. We'd be happy to help such a pretty girl find her pet. God damn it, Bo. You're a calculating man. Well, try your best. Yahoo! Let's go, Ryu. Let's leave this village and ask around. Oh, boy. If you find her pet, you'll be given 500 coins. Do your best. So, yeah. We're... We're working at basically, like, an adventurer guild. Um, because we need money. I think we're technically mercenaries or something like that. Oh, we're rangers. Our job is to just 
do whatever people post, really. Ranger has to be able to do anything. There's all kinds of work. But I don't want to do any weird stuff. That costs extra. Alright. So, just like with the previous game, there's a little bit of grinding I need to do here in order to get uh, better equipment. Because I need to get equipment for both of my dudes, and I have $5 to my name. However, unlike the previous game, I don't have to fight monsters to do that. Because in this game, instead of fighting monsters, I can fish. Uh, first I need to get a little bit of extra capital to do so. Pretty sure there was somewhere around here that I could get a little bit of money. Let's see. Yeah, so I need to buy some worms. Herb is only worth four. This is probably going to be a little bit of a longer episode. But let's go through here and loot some things. There's nothing! Mina comes to this village sometimes, but I don't know what she does here. I think she comes to meet someone here. Could it be a boyfriend? Susie loves to take walks and she often goes far away. Please find her pet, Susie. Alright. And dope. Alright, cool. So, really what I'm doing right now is just trying to loot things so I can get some money. So I can buy worms. So I can go fish. Because I need better equipment. Uh, you know, I suppose really I should just go to the next episode, explore the town there. I wanted to just... Oh, yeah. Uh, this is the first time we get to interact with these Dragon Lord statues. Lately, everybody just prays to Saint Eva. Nobody even pays attention to the Dragon God. It was so nice before. Well, I'm sorry, when you get old, you tend to complain. Are you going to tell me the story of your journey? Yes. So, yeah, the Dragon God no longer has shrines anymore. Uh, he now just has... There's a town on the other side of Mount Fubi. I don't know about... I don't know. Interesting. Um, now he just has his little shrine statues scattered across the world, completely unattended. Uh, anyway, I think I'm going to finish exploring Hometown, uh, which is what this place is actually called, and do some fishing tomorrow as we play some more Breath of Fire. And then we can actually set out for our adventure.